Today I'm going to show you a brief overview of how to use city directories in your genealogy and local history research. To find the city directories that are available online or to see what city directories we have at the library, go to our website prendergastlibrary.org, go down to online resources, and click on genealogy. Now at the top of our genealogy page you will see print sources, Jamestown city directories, 1875 to present. We have all of these city directories available here at the James Prendergast Library. You are welcome to come in at any time to look at them. We do have a small selection available online from 1875 to 1916, and they are linked here. We're going to take a look at the 1915-1916 city directory. The city directories we have available online are scanned PDFs of the print versions that we have here at the library. So to start, we're gonna, you're just going to scroll in order to navigate it. You can also download this and open it up into a PDF viewer as well. Okay, so some things that the city directory provides information on, especially the older ones. They have information about the fire alarm boxes, information about the city itself, information about the city council, information on the police department, fire department, they have information about different officials in the city and the county. Now you might not find as much of this information in the newer ones, but the older ones have a lot of this information and it's really good information if you're doing or looking for local history information. And it has information about the newspapers and schools. Also information about churches in the area, cemeteries, libraries, and other social clubs and institutions. There is a lot of information in the city directories. Now to get to the information that is going to be the most helpful to you if you're doing genealogy research. All right, so these early ones, they did the street directory first. Some city directories have the street directory first and some have the name directory first. So if it's got the street directory, everything is broken down by the street. So the streets are done in alphabetical order. And then they list in numerical order the houses or buildings that are on that street and then the people or the businesses that are at those locations. Now for this street directory, if you see a number in parentheses, that's how many people live at that address. If there is no number there, then it is a business. And if there's an this city directory, if there's a star by the number, that means that the person that's listed owns that property. So if you are looking for a particular location, a particular address, and wants to know who lived there at some point. So say you want to check out who used to live at your address or who used to live at your home or where did a business used to be located, you can use the street directory for that purpose. Okay, so you are looking for a person to see whether or not they lived in Jamestown or to find out where they lived or maybe even what they did. These older city directories also listed the occupation of the person. The name part of the city directory people are listed alphabetically by their last name. So here we are in the F's, we've got some fishers. The person is listed, their name is listed, what their occupation is, and then where their residence is. And for some of them, it also, if they own a business, lists their business as well. So we can see this person was a pressman, textile worker, textile weaver, and if they were married, their wife is listed in parentheses. And so for some of them, it mentions that they were retired. So there is a lot of information in these older city directories. And they're really good for finding out who lived in Jamestown, where they lived, and you might even find out their occupation. So some of the abbreviations that are used in this portion of the city directory, R stands for resides at, so this person, Richard Fisher, he's a press man. He resides at 325 Fairmont Avenue, or he did in the years 1915 to 1916. If you see an H, so here, Julia Fitch, A, she is a widow. And her home is, she is the head of household at 17 East 6th Street. Page, you will see BDS, that stands for boards. So as we can see, this person here boards at 569 Faulkner. And if you see where it says RMS, here, so Franklin Henry, he's a baker, he rooms at 16 Russell. Those are some of the abbreviations and what they stand for. 
I hope this helps you with your genealogy search.